Fresno Radio. I'm David Martos. This is the 2019 Most of the Venezia, and we are with Gaspar Noe and Monica Bellucci because um, there's a new and not new uh, irreversible. Um, Gaspar, my first question is: um, Would you say the reason to to do this new montage is artistic, or it depends on the times we are living? Uh, no, I think. Uh, uh, it depends on the fact also that 35 millimeters prints are not shown in movies anymore. That when the movie was released in 2002, uh, the video was not in HD or in 2K. So I had to give a new life to the movie. I had to redo uh, a new master of the old irreversible. And when I was working on that, I had this idea that it was a time to this thing that everybody was asking me for and I also so that one day I'll do is to re-reverse the reverted story. So the, the movie was told backwards. Now I wanted to put it in a clockwise version. And the result works so well that I finalized it properly. And now I'm happy that this movie is gonna have a, a double life uh, and the, the, the new version uh, that goes clockwise is in many ways stronger mm -hmm. than the other one that was very brainiac. It has, it's like, in, in artistic terms, it's like a, a game that I don't know that anybody else played before to, to tell a movie forward and, and backwards. So I said, yeah, that there's an artistic reason. And also, by the moment that we're living, this movie could not be produced mm -hmm. or conceived or conceived yet, but never produced. And, uh, so there, there's some kind of anachronism in showing the movie today, and there's a reason to show it today yeah. that makes it even stronger. So yeah, uh, it's the right timing to the, for this version to be released. Um, Monica, I wonder if you remember your reaction when you saw the film for the first time, and how different was that reaction from the one you got watching the reverse montage? Of course, when I saw the film the first time, I, uh, it was so strong and uh, the violence was so incredible. And in this version, even though the violence is still there, but it's like if we feel more the duality between uh, poetry and violence. Because of course the film is very violent uh, still today, but uh, we talk about love and about uh, uh, relationships and birth and intimacy, friendships. So there are all those elements that we feel those elements much more. Mm -hmm. And um, and also the difference is that when I did uh, the film 17 years ago, I didn't have children. You know, and today I have children. So the film is very polemic, but at the same time in the good way because it opens uh, the discussion about so many incredible subjects that we have to talk about because um, today uh, society's rules are changing mm -hmm. and uh, women are more ready and more open to speaking out. And, uh, and I think that this film becomes very important because um, I see even my daughters and their generation much more aware about these sensitive topics. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have to find a common ground of communication, uh, you know, about all um, people to find, uh, it's not about fighting, but finding a solution for all. Okay, Monica Vellucci, Gaspar Noé, thank you very much for being with us today. This was an interview for Fred, the Festival Insiders.